Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Mark. And I'm Kid Ron Burgundy. And we got a great episode today. Speaking about episodes, I think this one's gonna really hit home for a lot of viewers out there, especially who live in Florida, and also all the video guys that have to do work in Florida. Because um, the hurricane season approaching, what's the number one thing that happens when a hurricane comes, down, comes by? I mean, you kind of lose power, right? Yeah, we do lose power. And if you live in Florida and you work in Florida, we don't let hurricanes slow us down. We do not. No, so no. we actually keep working, don't we? Uh, I usually do. Yeah, me, yeah, we, we work no matter what. Um, so today we have a great surprise for you. We're gonna let you in a little secret that uh, Ron and I have used for years to get, complete our jobs when the power goes out. Ugh. The 50 candle power light kit. It's kind of awesome. What do we have here? Well, when you go on location and you have no power, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta have a work light. Then, of course, our main lighting unit, right, which is really awesome, is this guy. Look at this, Ron. How many, what kind of power do we got in that? These are long burning tea lights. This is a 50 pack, so we have a 50 power candle light kit. That's 50 like a candle yeah, That's like a 1200 HMI, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little less. We have wood slats because you can put candles on wood slats. And of course, no good light kit is complete without some snacks in there. So of course, we love these in Florida. That's some of Ron's favorites these right there. These are wild caught sardines. Yeah, we and got a couple sardines. These are gourmet style. So we like to have a little bit of a variety. You know, we a little just, snack yeah. just in case, you know, talent gets hungry. We got these foil pans to catch wax, also re as reflectors as well. Um, and of course we have some white gas can fuel so we can burn the whole place down when we're done if the shoot didn't go well and uh, blame it on the storm. Um, and of course, my favorite, spam. You might get this in your email, but it's also a delicious snack. Yes. And then of course, I have a variety of matches because you gotta be able to light your lights. These are storm proof, so windproof and waterproof. And I got one more thing that didn't make it in the case, but we travel with it, especially during hurricane season. I'm gonna go get it right now, I'll be right back. There was also a snack on the run. This is a ham salad kit. So if you needed a little bit of pork during the hurricane, ham salad kit is where it's at. There he is. All right, water. You gotta have water when you're on a shoot. Water is key. But you don't have to have stupid boring water that everybody else has, which is the first thing that clears out in a storm. Look at this water, what does that say, Ron? This is cotton candy flavored water. Hell yeah, good for the youth. Now, what I recommend is opening up the cap, taking one good swig, and then setting it down and totally forgetting about it. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's now, pretty much how it happens on every set. That's true. Because then you're like, hey, which water's my water? Which water's my water? Yours is the one with cotton candy. But what, there's five cotton candy waters over here. Well, there you go. Cotton candy is very popular. And, we, and what else t do we have? We have, what taste is that? This is orange mimosa flavored water. I gotta try these waters out. Look at this water. There's peach flavored water. And, of course. And we have mint mojito water. Yes. So, we have all that, and then that's in the case. We bring the water. I got a couple of little teeth thing. I just wanna, I always wanna show you one last thing before we start lighting. We have a model coming. And we're gonna start right into lighting this, and it's gonna be really great. But, um, I don't know why I got this, but I just wanna kinda, I'm really excited about it. Can I, can I show you? Okay. All right. Ha ha ha! That is so majestic and so, magical. So, I believe, this is a top of the line unicorn pinata. Now, during a hurricane, people can be stressful. So I'm thinking when we have the interview girl here, before we start, we could probably give her the unicorn and then it's probably gonna have a smile on her face and set the tone for the whole interview. That's not a bad idea. It's kind of like, uh, what do they call those dogs or the animals the uh, when they bring them into stores? Um, Therapy dog. Yeah, but there's another, there's there's another emotional support. Emotional it. support dog, emotional this, support this unicorn. This is gonna be our emotional support unicorn for our hurricane kit. Yeah. Although it doesn't fit in the case. Does not fit in the case, we, I tried. 
Yeah, we'll have to get another case for this. All right, so shall we uh, get lighting here with our yeah, interview put stuff? Your, put your friend away. Mm, I love you, it's gonna be okay. All right. You ready? Are you gonna we take us down? You, you see this, Peyton. You see what I gotta deal with. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Clap right. it. Clap it out. Woo. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're on like dog doesn't go right. Twenty five seconds. So what are you supposed to do for twenty five seconds? Blow it out. It won't blow out, bro. <laughs> all right. So uh, so all right. Ready? Here comes the storm. Turn off the light. Oh, there's wind. We're gonna lose and light. power. Oh my God! We're losing all the power. Oh yeah, it's getting real dark now. All right, guys. So yeah, uh, we lost power here at the studio, and uh, this is our only work light currently. Uh, but now we're gonna go around and we're gonna light up some candles around Catherine, our model, back here. And uh, yeah, let's get this uh, candle let's power uh, shoot going. All right. So. You're in the storm, you gotta do the interview. We gotta get it in the can. We've got a couple of C-stands set up here. We've got our model. Go ahead, take the work light, you know, show off the model and candlelight. The great Catherine Parks and candlelight. Yeah, it's just great. All right, and now we got over here, we have our key lights. And of course we have our awesome matches that are like super waterproof. So whenever you strike a match, try to do it as close to the talent as possible. I mean, away from the talent as possible. So we just did six candles. This is six candle power, key light coming in from this side, just going right at it. These are like photons of candlelight. Now remember, your Kelvin value is not 3200 when it comes to candlelight. It's like 28. So I'm Come going ahead and way. light the fill on the first strike, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you light it. Oh yeah, uh, it is a little phosphorus. All right, now we've got the fill light. We've got the fill light, and these don't go out. Let's go to the key light. No, the hair light, I'm sorry. All right, so I just lit the hair light, okay? Now with the hair light, you gotta be careful because flammable hair is flammable, right? But look at what we got here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We got six power candle coming from key two power on the fill, so the fill is a lot less. So what's a six to two, like a, like a one to three ratio, right? And of course we got our hair light. Because this is a hurricane and I'm still doing the interview with my talent, we want to bring her and make her really comfortable and make her like smile and like take her mind off the situation before we start the interview. That is when my special secret item is gonna help. Let's go get it. Of course, I picked one of the most flammable things to use as an emotional support item. So let's see how she handles it. All right, I'm gonna hold, give her emotional support animal. Right there, Catherine, there you go. Thank you. All right, see, it's not so scary anymore, is it? Who needs power when you have candle? And FX9 with a 1.8 lens. Look at that image, that is awesome. All right, three, two, one. So tell me about Hurricane Tommy and what's going on today. Well, Hurricane Tommy is directly off the coast of uh, Fort Myers right now, and it's going to be heading our way. It'll be here pretty soon. No bright lights in a talent's face when you use candlelight. Who would ever thought that? That's great. So what other key moments that you can tell our viewers about candlelight interviews? Uh, well, um, probably you want to bring one of those lighters that you don't actually have to use it like matches for because it takes a long time if you're going to light everything by match one strike match two strike three three come on you great outdoorsman so ron man this setup is really good man with his work light and cabin yeah. is great no bright it's lights hurricanes outside, hurricanes outside. Wait, 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 wait. i just got here i got the light it's battery operated bro look at this oh wait yeah. see i got oh. it it's here how does that look oh, man is it's that, so is bright that good enough? it's too bright is wait a second is bright. it powered or what it is it's battery powered see look battery powered i can just i can crank it wherever i need to we can get it warm cool whatever oh. you want see look at this why are we using candles dude this what's the bright f enough they make battery powered leds I'm old school, bro. I didn't know they made why, battery power. Why didn't you say that? 
Tell you what, we learned a lot on that tutorial about how to light with candles. We learned that six candles makes a key light, two candles makes a fill light, and two more makes a hair light. Old school. And if you want to, you know, live in the year 2021, there's like these big old, you know, uh, Sony batteries and these great LED panels. I mean, you can dim the light, you can change uh, color temperature, all that. Okay, that, 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 he may have a point there. So now that we're finished showing you candle power, you know that there's LED power, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the notification bell so you get alerted whenever we put out new episodes like this one. That's right. See you next time. Guess what time it is? It's lunchtime and that means crafty here in the studio. We have our uh, bumblebee snack on the run ham salad kit. We have some spam and a couple different kinds of sardines. All right, well, what are you having for lunch today, Mark? Uh, I'm gonna go to the bumble, the spam. Let's go for it right spam. here. All right, look at that meat in there. You see that meat? Yeah, I'm gonna have some of that. No. Let me just take my fork, I'm just gonna dig right on into it. Dig right into it. I have no idea. What is Spam made out of? Anybody know? I thought it was pork. Oh yeah. Enjoy. Spam. That's your favorite lunch. How is that? It tastes like a salt lick dropped off a cattle car and landed in my mouth. Oh. And a cattle was like, hell no, that's my salt lick. All right, now it's my lunch time. I have a choice between wild cut Mediterranean style sardines. I think wild cut's nice. Or I have sardine fillets and spring water, no salt added, and it's gourmet. I'm going with Mediterranean style. Nice. I was gonna say fresh cod sounds. Yeah, fresh cod sounds better. Fresh cod sounds better. King Oscar wild cut sardines, Mediterranean style with extra virgin olive oil, herbs of province, red bell peppers, black olives, and garlic. I open it up, make sure the camera sees that. Oh, look yeah. at that. Ooh, look, it's got oil ready to it's just dump olives. out of there. You got a close up of that, buddy? All right. Just get it, buddy. Make sure people you... all over the world be like, man, that's some good shit. I don't know, bro. Look at just that. Just get it's it. Like... Ew. Just get it, bro. Oh, I hate olives. Does that look appetizing to you? <laughs> all right. Oh, Do you it need even you... smells bad. You're right? gonna need some cotton candy water after that. <laughs> it's actually not bad. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, would you want to chase it with some okay. cotton candy? Get some, uh, chase it with a little cotton candy water here. You know, I might do well. Do you my should do the mojito. The, do the, the mojito. Mojito. I'll do the mojito. Oh, oh. Jesus! <laughs> what the oh, hell, man. bro? <laughs> I guess it's sparkling water, dude. Who shook it? Did up? you put cotton candy water who in the sardines? It? You got to drink oh. yours. You, did you shake yours up too? Oh uh, uh, no. So here's to a good shoot. Learning a lot. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh God. Oh, that's seltzer water. That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. Oh wait, we got one more to try. Oh, I guess we should each try that one. All right, we'll try this one. This water tastes like it has some like uh, artificial Got artificial sweetener. chemicals in it. Oh, where's All the, right. there's a crackers? We got crackers here. Ooh, that looks delicious. Get excited to that. This is Bumblebee on the run ham salad kit. You need a knife? Yeah. Here we go. I don't want to cut my. Throat. Always have a knife. Have a kniff. Dude, do you dip in, dude. Why do I dip in? Because you gotta dip in. If it doesn't kill you first, then I know. But people eat this. That's a snacky. <laughs> really? Just get a big. P people actually eat this. All right. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that tastes funny. I got stuff all over my. Here. Cotton candy water on your battery powered LED lights. <laughs> Great. Actually, not too bad, honestly. All right, so all this crappy all right. stuff. All right, lunch is over. Back to work. Back to work. A note from the editor. Just reschedule the damn interview.